Here are two secrets for a powerful pitch in English. Talk about the value you bring and ask for what you want. Now this video is part three of a special series designed to help you improve your English for work and specifically build your pitch in English. You ready? Let's go. Hi, I'm your English coach, Christina, founder of Business English with Christina. I'm a neuro language coach and the owner of an international business. And as a part of this special series, I would also like to invite you to my free interactive workshop that's taking place on March 23rd. You can get all of the details and sign up for it down in the link below this video. In the last video, you learned that you need an elevator pitch in English if you do business in English. It allows you to show your strengths, your skills, your competencies, and because you can use it in so many different important business situations, it really is an indispensable tool to have in your business English toolbox. And it means that your business conversations are more likely to be more successful. Now, if you watched the first and the second video in the series, you know that you need to start with a solid introduction to greet the other person, something simple like, hi, I'm Christina, it's nice to meet you. And then in like one sentence to tell them what you do and who you help. For example, I'm the founder of Business English with Christina and I specialize in helping tech startups build profitable business relationships with Americans. So now that they know who you are, what you do, you're ready to talk about the value that you bring. So what does this sound like in practice? Well, you can talk about different things. You can talk about your experience. You can talk about how many years you've been in the business. You can talk about a recent achievement, an innovation, uh, anything that is going to help to really put the spotlight on you and the value that you can bring to the other person. Now, I know that for some of us, it's not always easy to put the spotlight on ourselves and to talk about our accomplishments or how great uh, a job we do or how great our business is. And that is why it's super important to prepare this in advance so that you know exactly what you're gonna say and you feel confident delivering that message. And we're gonna take a look at a few different examples just to give you some inspiration. But of course, if you want a lot more examples to help you create your own pitch, you can find that over on the blog post that goes with this video. All right, so let's imagine that you work for a company or you are a consultant for several companies. Well, you could say something like this. I've been a human resources manager for over seven years, and I've recruited entire teams for small and growing companies. If you run or own a small business that provides services to other businesses, you might talk about a recent project that was successful. For example, our company specializes in helping tech companies raise seed funding. We just finished helping Databot raise $3 million to launch their product on the American market. And if you're inside a company, you're working on a team, maybe you've got a great idea that you wanna to pitch to a decision maker or your manager to show how you or your department have the expertise to carry out your big idea. Here's an example. My team and I have been working on innovative medical equipment that's small enough to move from lab to lab. We've just completed our latest design for our biggest client, and I think we're ready for the next phase of testing. So now the person listening to you knows the value that you bring, but maybe they're not sure like what exactly you're looking for. This is the place where you ask for what you want. And again, here are some examples, but you can go over to the blog and find many more examples that will help you to craft your own pitch in English. Okay, so if you're looking for a position in a company, you might say something like this. I love how engaged Med Inc. is in making healthcare accessible, and I'd love the chance to put my experience to work for your company. Or you're at a networking event, and you would love to have an introduction to someone who can 
you know, maybe help you get that company as a client or just get into the company, get a contact, and maybe start an interesting collaboration. In this case, you could say something like this. I heard that your company will launch a new product soon. Would you be able to put me in touch with someone on their marketing team? I have some insights that could help them. So those are just a few examples, but in any case, congratulations, because now you know how to share the value that you bring and also ask for what you want, which is, I think for a lot of us, myself included, not always something that's easy to do because we're afraid of being rejected. We're afraid that the other person will say, no, hey, it happens, it's not the end of the world, but if you don't ask, you'll never know. But that is not the end of your pitch. And there's actually something else that you can do that is going to double the chances that your pitch will actually be successful. What is it? Well, that's what we'll talk about in the next lesson. So if you wanna be sure to get that lesson and also get your invitation for my free live workshop on this, then go ahead and sign up uh, at the link that's below this video so that you get part four of this special series um, and also your invitation to that workshop. It's absolutely free, but it's got so much value. And of course, when you do that, you'll also be the first to know about something that's coming up very soon that my expert coaches and I have worked on and refined over the years to really create something that just helps you exponentially become more confident and become better at using English in your business. All right, thank you so much for improving with me and with Business English with Christina. And yeah, I'll see you next time for part four.